Follow me. Found him like this. Daughtry, Boone, I'm sorry. My god. That's one way to run a dinner party. Who's hungry? But we're the only ones on the grounds tonight. We could have done this. Billy, we have a crime here. I know. I'm pretty sure dinner was steak. Just for the two? Okay. Okay. No wounds. No sign of a struggle. He either knew his killer or whatever it was was fast acting. How do you know there aren't any wounds? A guy his size and in relatively good shape. If there were wounds, we'd see evidence of them. Well, that doesn't leave us with much. This is ridiculous. What are they doing in there? Have you found anything yet? Yeah. A whole lot of blatant disregard for a man's appetite. You? <laughs> what? She asked. So you think we have a case here, Billy? Seems like a murder to me. Been a while since you broke one, huh? Yeah. You hide it well. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna go check the kitchen, see if there's anything there. Miss Green, how long have you worked for Mr. Boatwright? I'm gonna go look downstairs. Okay. Find anything? You know, if it weren't for the body, I think nothing happened here. You know, I don't like all these people being spread out throughout the house. These are murder suspects, and Miss Green was acting strange. True. Let's just keep them to the dining room. You go grab the twins, I'll grab Pulitzer and Professor Sprout. Do you think you'll miss him? I don't know. We don't really see him as it is. Probably not. Plus, Inheritance is nice. Daughtry, Boone. Coming. Find anything in here, Mr. Burgundy? Nothing in here. Then the hunt continues. You go back to the dining room. I'm gonna go find the screen. I did, I did nothing wrong. I've been here a long time. I deserve, I deserve more than this. Talking to yourself? It's a tough habit to quit. Harder than smoking, I heard. Really? No. Come on, you need to go back to the dining room. Officer Lawson, how dare you think these people are murderers? Oh, oh yeah. You guys want to know who killed our dinner party host? Seen dinner lately? Come on. All right. First off, thanks for coming. Get on with it. Okay. Raise your hand if you killed this man. Right, you all are. Raise your hand if you're dead. Right again. Wow. This group is sharp. Gold stars. All of you. Okay, let's go back to the table and I'll explain. I don't understand. We know who's dead. Why'd you ask us that? Ah, oh, so close. I thought we had it there. Mr. Boatwright isn't dead. He faked it. Why would he do that? Because Daddy isn't as rich as we think he is. I first became suspicious. There are no wounds or signs of foul play. Mr. Boatwright used poison from the poison dart frog to induce his death like coma. Next, I noticed the pictures of Mr. Boatwright on the wall. Yes, 
there is a safe behind the painting. The IRS notices in the kitchen said a lot about his finances. And finally, the Book of Amphibians of the Rainforest with bookmarked pages made it fairly obvious. He would have us as witnesses lose all his financial problems, take his offshore money, and retire in Cabo San Lucas. At least, that's where I go. Wait, what? what? What's happening? I have I million of jail. What's happening? Million of jail? And you just lost me so much more.